more than likely the reason that you've ended up clicking on this video is one of two reasons. One, because I did clickbait. Two, because whenever you start Hearts of Iron 4, you're getting a continuous launcher error that looks exactly like this. Or you end up getting past the launcher only to get greeted with a message that says that your mods fail to load correctly and you can't turn anything on or off. Anyway, we're going to cover all of this and I'm going to explain to you guys how to fix this problem and how to sort of resolve it until a long-term solution is actually released by Paradox. Now, please do not forget to subscribe if this video ends up helping you guys, because unlike the big channels that have 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, even a million subscribers that tell you guys to subscribe because it helps them, it actually helps me a lot more because I'm a much smaller channel compared to them, so YouTube treats me a little bit more favorably if uh, you guys end up subscribing and sharing the video, because a lot of people are going to need to know how to fix this, because people in chats are continuously asking, are your guys' launchers being slow? And that needs to stop because it's getting so annoying. All right, now while I'm getting annoying, let's get on to the video. So first off, what is going on? It is nothing to do with your personal computer, who, to all the people watching this right now, this has nothing to do with your computer directly, at least as of October 11th, or well, October 12th now, 2020. What is going on is Paradox hasn't released a major update for Hearts of Iron 4 since June 4th. So as long as June 4th, 2020 and onwards, your game was working fine, nothing has changed then it's something to do with the Paradox launcher itself. Now, I know that for a fact because there's been a massive influx of people on the Hearts of Iron 4 Reddit all asking the same thing, and that is to get help with their launchers because they are getting the same thing that you are to the people who are watching this video. Long launcher load times, errors when loading the launcher, or just simply errors loading the game. So, it's one of three reasons. One, the Battle of Bosporus DLC is coming out in a few days, and it's more than likely that Paradox is either stress testing their servers to get ready for it, or it could also be that with the new DLC coming out, people have been coming back to Hearts of Iron 4 a little bit early, and Paradox didn't really anticipate that, and now they're just having a massive influx of more people than their servers can handle because the launcher has to connect to their store to actually pull up the advertisements and other things. Third, this is what I think it probably more than likely really is. With the new DLC coming out, Paradox had to animate a lot into their launcher, like the new little animated videos for the DLC and all that kind of stuff. I think what might have happened is that might have been too much for the launcher, and Paradox just hasn't really gotten around to updating it because it's not a huge, huge issue to them. I don't know. It could be a thousand things, but that's just where I'm standing on it with the comments that I've been seeing and the problems I've been seeing. So now... This is the short-term solution on how you can get around this. So whether you have Hearts of Iron 4 on Steam or Hearts of Iron 4 without Steam and just have a desktop version through the Paradox Store or whatever, these are going to be pretty much the same. But it's going to start out for the Steam version, and then if you follow these steps, I'm going to tell you when you can do it if you have just the, P, uh, the Paradox desktop version, which you'll see in a second. So for the Steam users, you're going to go to your Hearts of Iron 4 loading screen or your uh, steam page hearts of iron 4 screen right here where you see your game you're going to left click it once so it's selected you're then going to right click go down to properties you're then going to go to local files right here click it you're then going to browse local files now this is where if you have it on desktop or if you have it on just regular pc or whatever or steam or any way you access it Find the Hearts of Iron 4 main directory folder. Usually for Steam users, that's the easiest way for people on the desktop. I don't know where your game is. So just get to the Hearts of Iron 4 main directory either way. Now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down until you can find Hoi4 all lowercase and it's the application folder or the file. So then you're going to left click it. You're going to right click it. Click run as administrator and then you're going to click yes. Now in case you're new and to PCs and stuff and you don't know what that means, that just means that it's asking if it allows it to make changes to your computer, blah blah blah. It doesn't really do anything major, trust me. It just bypasses the launcher and basically gives the game extra permissions in case there's something it has to override. It's kind of like running it in a sort of developer mode, so that way you can kind of bypass errors and things like that somewhat. But it completely bypasses the launcher, but this causes an issue to the, a lot of people are going to want to know about before you do this. So. The first issue it causes is it goes off of whatever your previous version was, and by that I mean if you had a mod on or not, if you had something enabled or disabled. It goes off of because it can't access the launcher 
it goes off of whatever the previous version of the game you were playing. So if you were playing, and I don't mean like version like 1.9, 1.8, 1.7, I mean version as in what mods you were running. So if previously you were running the Road to 56, for example, and then you try to launch that, uh, the way I just explained, it's going to launch Hearts of Iron 4 with Road to 56 enabled. If you didn't have Road to 56 turned on and you right clicked and ran as administrator, it's going to play Hearts of Iron 4 without the mod and so on. So anything you had on in terms of mods before you ran it as administrator, those are still going to be enabled. I don't know how to get those off other than maybe uninstalling them from the Steam Workshop. That's really the only thing I can think of in terms of that. But also, another thing you can do is just continuously, if you're having the errors and you don't want to disable or enable mods, or it's really important you have something enabled or disabled, you can also just continuously keep launching the launcher. Uh, every time it takes a while to load or it gives you an error, you can just click out of it and then you can just reload the launcher. Eventually what will happen is you'll get stuck with a little message or a screen that looks like this where it says Hearts of Iron 4 is running. If you're on Steam, you can just go into there and click exit and they'll just say it's waiting for Hoy to launch or shut down. You'll click exit now and uh, just relaunch Steam and it'll take care of itself. So anyway, guys, I hope this helped you at least a few people out there who are having this issue. And also, if you guys don't mind, please share this video with your friends who are having issues with Hearts of Iron 4 because right now it seems like the entire community or at least like 90% of it is being affected by this issue. So, again, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Good luck. Stay awesome.